Welcome everybody, I'm going to show you today into Shopify how to get started with the sale prices and Shopify products. So this is going to be really, really easy. So let's get started and go straight forward to the tutorial. First of all, I'm going to sign into my Shopify store. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you haven't tried these Shopify online store website creation really, really for free and then later on having a huge deal is the best thing. Now that you have here your store, you can see how uh, we have the home stuff, we have the things to do next. Um, so this is going to be totally updated and customizable for you depending on where you're actually at. And then what you wanted to do is to focus into the lip pod that says products. Inside product, what you wanted to do is to focus into the product you wanted to add the sale channel. If you haven't added and it's specific product, then let's go into the upper side, it says add products. And here into adding a product, what you just need to do is to add, let's say for example, one product or two of them, whatever, and it's gonna be created like right away. I'm gonna to try to reload the page really easy here. And check out how it actually looks, the creation of the product. The title, the description, the media, the price, the code, the inventory, and much more. Since I already have a lot of products here, what I wanted to do is to get started with one product that I already had into, uh, let's say, into my online store. Let's say, for example, I'm going to get started with, I don't know, maybe this one. So what I wanted to do is to click into my product. And here, what I want to do is to make sure that I have, first of all, a really great title. So it's in precise, show it in precise, of course. And then later on, I scroll all the way down to find the variants. Now here into the variants, this is totally depending on if you have more than one product, uh, one variant. For example, let's say that I'm selling one product that I'm selling uh, with different colors, with uh, different sizes, whatever. So that totally depends on you. So if you have more than one variant, what you wanted to do is to go into edit and choose the option that says bulk edit. If there's only one variant, then let's go for edit the price. But in my case, what I wanted to do is to go for the bulk edit. So in here, I'm gonna go for, first of all, save all the changes before I go into this new section. Once again, I'm gonna go for the edit and bulk edit. Now I'm gonna hit now into lift page. And we should see that we have like an Excel here of the product. So what I want to do is to go here and look out for the compare price. If you don't see the compare price, let's go into the upper side. And here into columns, I enable the compare at price section. Now I have this new compare at price. So what you wanted to do is to type a product uh, price that is higher than the one that is right now. So let's say for example, that this one is $4. I'm going to sell this now into 719 and here exactly the same thing with the second one. That means that the original price it was 719 and the new price is 418. So really, really important to choose a really great price. You don't want it to focus like a lot of uh, discount here. So after you make that, let's go into save. There we go. Now, automatically, this should do the actual magics. But before we do that, let's make sure that it actually worked it. So what I wanted to do is to go inside a view for this specific product and see if this actually is working. So now, as you see here, we have the current price, scratch it, and the new price here. And now we have the sales section here. So it's actually really, really great. The last thing that I wanted to do is to make sure that I have here the offer banner into the upper side. So let's go back here into our Shopify website. Let's go into online store. Inside online store, I wanted to look out for the customization of my product, customize. And inside customize, what I wanted to do is to look out for the product that I'm actually making the sale here. So I click here. And now I have the sales section, right? So let's say, for example, that I wanted to add like a new block. And here you want to add like a countdown or I don't know, maybe something easy. So in this case, I'm going to just add the pop up or collapsible road. And I move this into the upper side above the text. And as you see, guys, this is how we can move on and use the actual sales section. The last part, of course, is to preview the test. So make sure it actually looks great. Make sure that you clicked into buy it now and the sales price actually appears exactly the same as it appears here into the subtotal. And there we go, guys.
it's going to be really, really easy to add this product, this sales channel into your website. So guys, there you have it, a quick and effective tutorial on setting sales prices into your Shopify products in 2024. If you find this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify Insight, hit the notification bell. Remember you have the link down below in the description of Shopify to get started totally for free and having a huge deal. Thank you for joining us today, happy boosting those sales with irresistible discount. See you soon.